Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today we are looking at Psalm chapter 18 and I'll read verse 31 and 32. The Bible says, For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Praise the Lord. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. This is an encouragement today that God is in charge of our lives and he cannot be challenged by anyone or anything. And wonder the, the psalmist is asking, who is God? For who is God except the Lord? He is in charge. Who is God? except the Lord. Lord, in this case, reminds us that he is above everything. He is in charge. He is the author of all things. And who is a rock except our God? When we mention a rock here, it's a reminder that our God is very, very firm, he is God. Nothing can move him. He is immovable. When we mention the rock here, it's a reminder that, you know, he cannot be challenged by anything. I'm reminded of, of the song we sing, Rock of Ages. He is God. Such a firm God. Everlasting. Immovable. Immortal. He is God. Praise be to God. And who is a rock except our God? Our God is such a mighty God. Verse 32, the psalmist says that it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. This is a good thing to say together, that it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Our strength is not of our own making. It is not from anywhere else. It is God who arms you with the strength and makes your ways perfect. We cannot be perfect in our own, through our own uh, ways and means. It is only God who can perfect our way. And when you look at these two verses, we are reminded that we must be ready to connect with God, this God who is the Lord, this God who is the rock, this God who arms us with strength. You could be going through something and you feel like your strength is being drained, but with God, it is God who arms us with strength. He does not come to drain out our strength. He comes to arm us with strength. Are you feeling weak? It is God who arms us with strength. And not only so, even when you're, where you're feeling as though your way is not perfect, he's able to streamline everything in your life, what you need. Is just to acknowledge him, just to acknowledge that he is God and he is in charge and he is mighty in power. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? Such a mighty God. For it is God who arms us with strength and makes our way perfect. This week, let us allow God to arm us with strength, to make our way perfect, acknowledge him as God. When you get to a point of asking who, for who is God except the Lord, there is no other description you can give him. He is just the Lord. Praise the Lord. Allow him to arm you with strength. Even a time like now when you are feeling as though your strength is being drained. He is God who arms us with strength. 
May he arm you today. May he equip you today. May he make your way perfect. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.